It's the Simon Brodkin Show. Film the location upstairs in his house. Coming up. They are going to kill me for this. And a bit of this. Hello, Great Britain. And you will not want to miss this. The former BHS owner, Sir Philip Green, appears to have been pranked tonight. And stick around for my how-to guide to pranking on TikTok. It's time to think about those who suffered the most during this pandemic. Waitrose shoppers. No, we ordered baby spinach. No, and you sent us spinach. Fully grown spinach. Adult spinach. Now, I appreciate we're in the midst of a global pandemic, but as far as I'm concerned, one of the symptoms of COVID-19 is not an inability to read. Well, don't talk to me about sacrifice. We're not going skiing this year. Lockdown is over. Yay! It's the tier system. Congratulations to the 13 people who made it into tier one. It's so bloody complicated. I mean, are we allowed to snort coke off someone's ass in tier two? I think it's okay as long as it's work related and outdoors. Rita Ora had a great question. Are you allowed to come back from Egypt, not self isolate and then have a birthday party with 30 mates? For everyone criticizing Rita Ora for breaking lockdown laws, can I just remind you that she's a celebrity? I don't lie, you know, I'm an honest person but it's all under control because we've only gone and approved a bloody vaccine before any other country in the world. Get in! We've obviously got the best medical regulators, much better than the French have, much better than the Belgians have, much better than the Americans have. That doesn't surprise me at all because we're a much better country than every single one of them. Yes, we're the bestest. Why are the Brits first? Because um, they really rushed through that approval. <laughs> what would you know? You're like a... Doctor, you're not British, so like you don't know how much gooder we are. Several people have had an allergic reaction to the vaccine. We're still the bestest. The order of who gets the vaccine has now been decided. Here is the scene at a care home when they found out that they are the first in the queue. If you fit well and under 40, sit tight because you're going to be vaccinated in nine years. Philip Green, the man who makes other tax avoiding billionaires look good, managed to collapse yet another company and was offering the best Black Friday deal in history, Topshop, Topman, Miss Selfridge and Dorothy Perkins for a quid. This is what I got up to when he destroyed BHS. This super yacht is supposed to have 40 staff. Among them, a chef and a dog walker. All right, exciting times, because if you take a look over my shoulder, line up, it's there. <laughs> Someone hold my leg. Bottom left fall and I'll go in again. Down. OK. Top right, top right. I got it. Top right. Okay, we're about to hit a window. Last one, last one, last one. I think they might have just renamed someone's boat. The former BHS owner, Sir Philip Green, appears to have been pranked tonight after a banner saying BHS Destroyer was unveiled on his super yacht. <laughs> Simon and his team are intercepted by the Monaco police, who confiscate the cameras and apprehend all of them. People want to know why you're on holiday. Go away. Why won't you tell me? Are you not understanding? Hang on, go hang on, away. hang on, hang on. There's no Just go violence. away. I had to pay a bigger fine than Philip Green's tax bill, 50 euros. Stick about brand new Joe Wick still to come. Now, here's an influencer spending some quality time with his kid. What's up, guys? Having some major daddy time. <laughs> Have such a laugh with this little guy. Give me five. He's my mini me. Woo! Might be off Insta for a bit because I'm having too much family fun. That was fine, but we need to be more having fun fun if i'm saying this is such fun mm -hmm. and i was looking like i was having fun but you weren't looking like you were having that much fun and it doesn't look good on insta people know what's real and what's not remember this is like a great day for us we're having a good okay. time okay what's up guys i'm having a father sunday with my little mini me i'm such a mini me <laughs> <laughs> we have the best day ever 
stop now. Okay. That was better. I think you could say I love you at one stage. Yeah, what would a father and like son... A, say I love you in name and like big that's, hug. Yes, that's, that's what a father and son would do. Okay, but do you like my banana Lego figure? Yes, it's fine, but we've got to get on with this. Ah, it's family day. Best day ever. Guys, have fun with your family. It is so important. Can we play some more, please, Dad? I've got please. nowhere near enough time. Uh. Well done, thank you. Play by myself. Play. I'm uh, rapidly becoming an influencer myself, and I have joined TikTok. I mean, once I saw like everyone was on it. <sighs> they are going to kill me for this. <sighs> Here's my how-to guide to pranking on TikTok. I'm about to do something to a member of my family who's in on the joke, but will pretend not to be, then we're both gonna act like it's the maddest thing ever. Babe, come here a sec. By the way, this is our 11th take. Yeah? <laughs> it's Crazy Dave. Yes, Australia's biggest TikTok prankster. Everyone in the house is asleep, and I'm about to replace the TV remote control batteries with sausages. While the vaccine is obviously great news, please spare a thought for Joe Wicks. Hello, Great Britain! So the vaccine is out, which I know he was all super happy about, but I bloody loved COVID. Since I was a little boy, all I ever wanted to do was half hour of PA every morning in front of millions of people stuck in their ass, and there's nothing left for me now, so. I'm gonna drink this bottle of poison that I got instead of my water bottle and I'm gonna die. How mad is this? I don't feel a thing, must be because I'm so thick. Don't forget to buy my book. My exciting news, I am gearing up for a huge live stand-up tour in 2021. So, the Simon Brocken show on YouTube is on ice for a little bit. I will still be posting loads of new sketches on here, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on them. Please let me know in the comments what town you want me to come to. I really hope to see all of you on my stand-up tour. I'm super excited about it, and make sure you stay alive until I get there. See you soon. Cheers! Bye! Later! Goodbye! Bye! Ooh, yeah!